today how to open an assignment with Kami and then turn it back in after you've made changes. So I'm in a classroom that's kind of a archived old class right now, but the assignment I posted here um, is a test assignment. And so this is basically what the assignment will look like. You could have done this uh, from this screen or you can go over to the classwork screen. Yeah, I got it. Um, and you can click on the assignment. Now you might have to click view assignment to open it further. Okay, so we're gonna come back to that turn it in, uh, turn it in in a second. So up here is the assignment, and you can see it's made a copy of the assignment for you, and your name will appear here instead of uh, my name. So when I click on the assignment, it's gonna open it, and I'm gonna go up here to the three little dots. I'm gonna have to click open in a new window, and then I have choices to open with. Now, if you do not see Kami here already, like. This is my first time going through, so I don't see Kami here either. You might see Kami right here, but if not, you're going to want to click Connect More Apps. And then if you have to, we're going to search for K-A-M-I and search. Okay, so we want this top one, and so we're going to click the Connect. Great. Um, it says down here, it's a little bit off your screen, but it has been connected. So now when we go to Open With, now we see Annotate With Kami. Or Kami, I don't know. So we click that. <clears throat> And it's going to, it says allow Google. So you definitely want to allow Google Drive. It's just your soul. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so then you'll get to this point. So over on the far side here, you'll see a bunch of options. You have a text box, so you could just type text. But we're going to come down here to the drawing tool. Uh, we can change our color. I'm going to go and make it blue just so it stands out differently from uh, the rest of things. Now, yours is touch screen. I've actually got a... Uh, uh, tablet attached side by side but now you should be able to draw right on here so like you could write uh, the area is equal to uh, two um, no, I'm thinking of a rectangular prism here um, so I already started writing the wrong formula here so how do I erase let's go up here eraser okay so you can go ahead and start erasing and then you can go back over to uh, your pen tool okay so it's already got that again in there okay so the area is equal to a h plus a w plus b w plus c w for the sake of time i'm not going to go ahead and continue solving this but it's done we'll say we're, we've got it finished and uh, up here at the top you notice that right away it is saved automatically but we're going to go down a little further to turn it in or turn in so when we click turn in it's going to kind of show that it must be stored in this folder. Um, we've already saved. It's on auto save, but right up here is turn in. Waiting. It's saving to Google Drive. Turning in. Loading. Okay. And now it's telling me I could unsubmit it. And you'd want to do that if you're like, oh, wait, I want to go back and change something and then submit it. But um, we have submitted the assignment. So now I'm going to go over, hopefully, back to the Google Classroom. Uh, let's see if it takes me a second to find that one. Okay. So here's the Google Classroom. So if I uh, look, now it's got this version here, and I should be able to see your turned in work. What if I refresh it even if I, uh, um, okay, you can talk, you can talk with my te your teacher here, but now your document should be uh, turned in. So I'm gonna just show you on the teacher end what it should look like for me for a second, hopefully. So now this is me logged into the teacher for this assignment. And so when I look at the assignment, Oh, I see that um, Andrew has turned it in. And so I can click on your assignment and <laughs> let's hope we see that work there. Crossing fingers. There it is. <laughs> Took a second to load. So then I can even go ahead and open this with Kami if I wanted myself. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I'm going to go and use evil red and say, uh, need more. Um, I just click save. Save now. Saving. I'm going to come back over here. I'm actually going to reload the page. See if that changes anything. I'm going to click on that because this is now me as the student. Oh, yeah, look, good. Now it's showing that I've made comments on yours. And so you'll want to actually come back and check to see what I wrote about yours to see if you got it right or wrong. Um, excellent. So that's how we're going to go ahead and uh, turn in assignments from hopefully moving forward. Um, now, if you didn't um, want to do it exactly that way, so let's unsubmit for a second. Unsubmitting, okay. 
So we would maybe want to unsubmit if um, you wanted to go ahead and change it now that I've made a comment. Regardless, just like we did the other day with a lot of you took a picture and emailed it to me, instead of taking a picture and emailing it to me, take a picture and then click add or create. And this is where you can choose either something in your Google Drive or a file that might be uh, on your computer. So if you pick a file, um, you can you know, upload it and pick a file. And here's just the, the raw document, the blank copy. And you can click upload, do, 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 taking this time, and then you can turn it in. And now it looks like you've turned in two assignments, which in theory you can turn in as many assignments as you want. Um, but that's how we're going to go ahead and turn in assignments. I really uh, I appreciate you guys taking the initiative to email them to me just so they got to me, but I want them turned in here on Google Classroom. That way I can send the feedback to you uh, nice and quickly as well. So uh, thanks for watching.